Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, Sage Sunset Healing Tarot, and I'm here today with your tarot messages for this new month in this week. So let us get started, Leo. I'm seeing here that you're taking action to create a reality that you want. I feel like in the outcome that you wish your desire is to have a greater sense of purpose a greater sense of love to give as if from this place of a queen or a king so you're taking action to work on yourself physically mentally emotionally emotionally and spiritually working on yourself and to do that i see you going internally which is beautiful leo yes you're diving inside to consult with your higher self to put the pieces together of how to really move forward. So the pieces of your life, the desire that you wish for your life to, the outcome of your life, the desired outcome of your life can really fall into place. You're going inside. Because without that innate and internal wisdom, you won't know where to really go. So you'll have to know what you want what is best for you to know what direction to go into. So you're actually going internally, which is beautiful, Leo. You might be exercising, eating differently, meditating, speaking differently so that you can attract the life that you want. So it's just like you want to really manifest this environment of wellness around you as within, so without. You want the love that is inside of you to be brandished on, you, on the outside of you. As seen here, this is the internal love here that is initially innately in you. This is the one that no one can take from you. So you're accessing that to its full potential to become the queen. What resonates on the outside? You walking in your power. This is you taking action to really manifest this space of love within yourself, which is beautiful. I see you wanting to manifest. So you're taking action to create a higher sense of value. So I feel like you want to be highly valuable in self. And so that's why you're turning to that higher self-love self within yourself. Right? So when you're aligned with your true self-worth, your powers, your intuition, your gifts, then you feel valuable, whether financially or just spiritually emotionally physically valuable to give more to others i feel like your aim your intention is to be more established in society as a valuable person that gives value to others as well so i feel like you already love yourself leo of course but you want to do it on a bigger scale so you have manifested that love for yourself which beams on your outside and there were new beginnings there was desires for new beginnings to come into place for something to end so that you can establish more boundaries stability and foundation in the desired outcome of your life so we're going to see what that is so you have more like new creative ideas a new focus new intentions I think you're dreaming big, Leo, to do something amazing with your life. So right now, there's desires to establish a sense of self-worth. I know it's repetitive, right? But it's okay. It's a strong desire to really establish and ground oneself in one's purpose, one's true purpose, so that the outcome can be you being highly valuable. In society and in your life in yourself in what you attract to you so people can see who you are aiming to be your purpose I feel like your purpose is also to I mentioned it earlier to give more love to others because you have established it within yourself so you might want to create that place where you can actually inspire others to feel well so we have three tens here on the board. Ten, ten, ten. So tens represent new beginnings, 
or letting go of the past to create to start something new so something ended so you can create something new what i see you establishing is foundations new ideas and new sense of values so the creative energy within you is really to serve i feel like to serve humanity and a greater purpose it's like a big mission that you're on to spread the love that you feel for yourself to others you know to share what you have learned along your journey i feel like you can do it you are doing it but you might not really be sure if you will have the support that you need so it's like you want to go off in this direction but uh, like will it be worthwhile so you're kind of sideways with it you're not really sure right you're leave i feel like you're leaving behind you some kind of something that you were happy with it was contentment but you're after something greater so even though it may have been beautiful maybe a marriage a lump sum of money financial gains you're leaving that behind Leo so that you can come into something that's even more beautiful like a twin flame relationship some someone that reflects you there's equal give and take there's balance it's someone that you roll with it's so easy like you flow with this person and that's why I feel like you're going internally so that you can really figure out who you truly are and what you truly want to manifest so that you attract what you are leo that's what you're working on so it's, it's not just about love it's also about your career you wanting to really be aligned with someone that that means something to you a lot like reflects you that real love <laughs> you may have been married or been approached with marriage but if i feel like if it's not what you want you're in a, like a waiting mode you're in the mood of contemplation of introspection of where you want to go and where you want to go is to be with someone who can stand by your side when times get tough who will have your back who will feel how you feel i feel like overall your energy is marriage like you deserve to be wedded or something of this sort like you deserve that That you're that kind of person, like a queen or a king energy here. Yes. So you have a lot of blessings coming into you. You feel very valuable in yourself, Leo. Right? So I feel like that is why you want to share it with many people. How to, how to get to where you've been. How to really manage their lives. There's celebration in, in your cards here. So you may be celebrating... A business that you just started because I said you do have new beginnings new creative ideas coming into play that you have established maybe started a new business maybe you are the CEO of your empire and I feel it has a lot to do with love teaching self-love and valuing self So yes, in your manifested reality, there's a lot of ideas, businesses, like entrepreneurship, career mentality, giving value also. And it's from a place, a space of higher self-love, like giving to a greater audience or serving a lot more people that would possibly need your guidance because you know who you are. You are qualified to actually lead these people into self-love that may be your intention all right so there's new love coming into you actually this card is what is coming into you this is the twin flame relationship that we spoke about earlier that is coming so if you're waiting for that good on you right because it is coming i know you're working to really manifest that you're you're like not paying attention to any other offers really that's even appear to you as perfect because your intuition is speaking loudly and your value is high and so you know what you want you're waiting for this true love to show itself to you here amazing you might get married to this person when they come into you of course 
I feel like you're that type of person that would want marriage. Or the world is saying that. I feel, I feel like you're a heavy, like a powerful person that would want marriage. So we have a bit of conflict surrounding you. I feel like that is what's keeping you from making a decision in a sense. Like moving forward with the full card. I see you not readily taking action. Maybe there's an internal conflict of whether it's going to be right for you or not. Whether you're making the right decision. I see that you will be well rewarded for, it, for the decision that you make. Either for waiting for your patience, for actually putting in the work that you're doing, for doing work on yourself and for being an inspiration to other people because I do feel like you're serving a larger audience that wants a high sense of value and you have that and so they're looking to you for that. So the conflict won't be, it won't last long. See here we have the strength card next. You have what it takes to be who you want to be. Strength, very powerful. The Swords card, the King of Swords. So these could be things that you're afraid of, what you're blocking off, what you're not tolerating. You might be afraid of getting in trouble with the law. But you want to be established, but at the same time, you don't want to be in the wrong. So that could be your fear. That could be what is keeping you stuck. Or are keeping you from really making a decision. I'm going to get some more information on the King of Swords. I just want to read it out loud. To make, so that you can hear it. To see if it really resonates with you. What's keeping you from making a decision right now. Okay. So this is. Command, authority, militant, intelligence, laws, offices of the crown, and so forth. So, <laughs> if that resonates with you in any sense, is, um, when, it, when it relates to your fears or your hopes. Your fears? What's keeping you stuck here? Let us see what the outcome will be, though. Alright? Wow, the tower. Okay. So the outcome of all of this is the tower. So something is coming to an end. Maybe I feel like old beliefs, certain boundaries that you had upon yourself, certain ways of thinking. It could be with the law, being afraid of speaking out. Maybe because of your fairy personality, you're afraid that you might say the wrong things or offend the, the wrong people and it might get you in trouble. But I feel like you're finding a way to be true to yourself. And you're putting an end to these fears. You're moving on from the feeling of stuckness and indecision. So that you can truly live in your strength. Well, you have the strength card. This is your how you feel inside. This is how your basic your reality, your home life, what you're surrounded by is strength. So you have support. You know how to work that magic wand and make things work for you. So maybe just really go inside really and find the answers that you need. Meditate some more. That's self-loving. Just kind of end this feeling of conflict, Leo. It's a beautiful reading. You have some major, major cards out here. Right? So the only issue I see really in your reading is feeling a bit of stuckness or indecision of not knowing if this route is best for you. And you leaving things behind, even though there were beautiful, dazzling things that you loved and you created, but you wanting something greater. I feel like you have a great purpose in this life to really inspire many people. And maybe that's to step up to that challenge. You're wondering if you, if you want to, or if you're even ready to take on that mission. But the strength card is here. And something is coming to an end so that you can see clearer the path that you wish to take. You're being guided. It's like the world really needs someone like you. And so that's why you were inspired to take this, take on this mission in the first place, Leo. Hmm. I feel like now you want to lead with a lot of heart, but be grounded in your values. There's a lot of new beginnings here. I feel like you're doing something strong, powerful. 
and that is the, that is why you're having a bit of conflict right so that is your career and love life message for today Leah. thank you so much for coming through i hope that you find this helpful and if you did do consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video for more messages in the future and until next time much love to you take care